Hey, welcome to Hard Science, a show where we use just a little bit of knowledge about the world to bend it to our whim. I'm Anthony. I'm Tara. And hey, it's the holidays. We're showing you some smaller scale experiments that you can do at home when you're bored. This one is based on something I always did at home on the holidays when I was bored, mm -hmm. setting fires. Oh yeah. We are gonna show you, in honor of New Year's Eve, a way to uh, kind of create your own sparklers and fireworks. Yeah, exactly. And we have a whole ocean behind us in case something goes horribly wrong. So this is steel wool. It is basically just a bunch of fine, soft steel strands that have been put together. Metal is a great conductor of electricity. You probably already knew that. So what we can do is we can take this nine volt battery, we can touch both of the terminals to the steel wool, and what happens is it actually makes a short circuit, right? So you have electrical current, which is basically charged particles, going through the steel wool. We've got a whisk here that we've spread out a little bit, and the steel wool, which I'm gonna just sort of pull apart a little bit, just to allow more oxygen inside, and then we can just sort of shove it right in. Don't even say it. So, we've got our whisk and we've got our steel wool inside. Now we need to attach a rope to it. Holding it and having total control of it is silly. Just for safety precautions, we're gonna add a carabiner at the end. So you can always fasten the fire to yourself permanently. No, that's not why we're doing it. We're using it as a handle. The reason that we're spinning it around rather than just holding it like a sparkler is because you want as much oxygen to get inside as, as possible, and that's what creates the sparks that you see. Get it going, start swirling it around. Going. Get that oxygen in there. Like oh yeah. Woo! Start small. Yeah! No, 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 you're doing great. Keep going. It smells weird. It smells like fire. Ah! It smells like your inevitable death. Keep going. Nice and easy. This is a big one. Yeah, you're throwing off a lot of spark. Don't get <laughs> That's what we're talking about. It's raining fireworks. Oh, I'm good at fire throwing. Look at me. So there you go, you conquered your fear of fire, I, I think. No, I didn't catch fire, it's a miracle. It's a, a it's New a... Year's miracle. <laughs> so this was cool, uh, these are what? These are about 10 bucks to make. Just remember to be safe about it, guys. Uh, I'm not taking my hood down because I actually lost a good portion of my hair and scalp back here. New gear. Yeah. By the way, if you enjoyed that, if you uh, like making stuff, hacking stuff, building stuff at home, our friends Pat Norton and Michael Hand have a new show. Yeah. Called Die Trying. What else can we carbonate? Coffee? Orange juice? Eggnog. This thing is awesome. Go check it out. They show you how to build all kinds of weird stuff all the time. You can click and check their channel out over there. And of course, subscribe here for more hard science. You are like the ultimate raver, Anthony. I feel like you are raving in every single one of these episodes. Who would have thought that my wasted youth would come in so handy?